but people don't like to watch me load the magazines so I'll talk while I do that hi right, everybody bald and curious here uh, I'm at the range messing with the with the x carry uh, Zep from Zep Technologies since I finally got my actual firing group that came with it so I figure we can do a little more detailed review on it I'll, uh, I'll show you a little comparison between the trigger in uh, uh, in this gun opposed to uh, X5 Legion my competition gun that has a armory craft trigger in it uh, now I'm not sure I was reading up on the website I don't think the Zeb actually does anything to the firing control unit uh, at least I didn't see anything in a uh, in the paperwork so basically all they do is they do a bunch of machining on the slide you know they do these cutouts uh, they put a match grade barrel with these uh, lightning dimples in it so it's not ported or anything like that they they co-witness the sights the with this with this uh, uh, what is this a house on 507c uh, the sights actually do do co-witness and it works because if I force it down I can see even the even the dot coherence with that so uh, uh, the, uh, the Streamlight uh, TLR7 sop on it and uh, let me just break the gun for you I don't have my other one I had a I had a gas pedal from my X5 this one doesn't have it so there you have it barrel's not ported or anything they just put these dimples and they just do a beautiful job machining the slide as far as a lower goes I I don't see any difference I don't think they did anything uh, to the lower so I'm pretty sure that's uh, that's stock but let me show you something the trigger pull on uh, on this is pretty nice uh, it's right there in a no, four pound range but the reset's fairly nice as well. There's no, there's no over travel. Now you got a little bit pre-travel, a little bit of the creep. Then reset, and boom. Now here's a armory craft trigger on my X5. So, you know, that's all the take up pre-travel you got. Little creep break reset break so this is definitely shorter reset but this is a extra 120 40 dollars whatever the trigger was so this trigger is definitely good enough for almost anything you want it to do now if i can get my hands on uh aluminum frame i'm working on that from a famous youtuber i want to borrow aluminum frame and uh throw some more weight in it for the hell of it and see see what's gonna happen uh plus i'm pretty sure you can put a i can put a tungsten weight down uh, down this grip as well so let's uh let's just shoot do a couple of drills i got uh i got these uh 147 hollow points this stuff is ridiculous uh, expensive, really expensive. It's a 70 bucks for a box of 50, and that's if you can find it. So I already shot one mag just to compare it to my reload. It it's a little bit harder. I'd say anywhere from 100 to 150 feet per second harder than my loads. Uh, I, I would have to look at the uh, I guess look at the website see because the box doesn't say see what they what they run at all. Maybe I'll chrono them, and I can probably load uh, like a defensive training ammo that's gonna be closer to it. Uh, my competition load is uh, about 132 power factor, so I, I think it runs just under 900 feet per second. So this is probably thousand or over a thousand. So let's run a couple of mags. Let's see. Uh, I mean, obviously you saw me shoot the gun before, but with a different trigger. Let's see if the trigger makes that much of a difference. I guess not. You do your job, the gun will, will do it.
Ah, let's try some hot stuff. You can tell that it sounded different at the steel as well. I should probably put it on paper, see how much the point of impact changes, because uh, I mean I can still hit a little foot in steel at you know 15 yards or whatever it is. Uh, so I mean it's good enough for combat accuracy. But uh, I just love this gun. I, I don't know. I don't know why uh, this is a Gucci Sig. Is it worth? Uh, I mean MSRP only is like 1,300 bucks. I, I, I think I paid like 11 and a change, 11.99 or something. And I didn't throw in like a Gucci optic. I put a, I had this hollow sun. This was actually my very first uh, uh, semi-decent red dot. And that's what I was running on, a, on the original X5. So I had this around for a long, long time. And I don't think I changed the battery in it yet. Uh, if this is gonna be my carrier, I'll probably will change the battery. Just put a fresh one every year. But uh, I'm getting to the point that, that uh, uh, Razer JB is right. It it's not that big of a difference shooting a or carrying gun like this opposed to gun like that. Especially once you, if I put a light on it, which I don't think I need a light, you know, for my day-to-day -day, uh, operations. But I want it to be tactical. I want it to be a cool looking. I want to be like a cool kid. So uh, I kind of I kind of dig this. And like I said, it's not. It's not comfortable, but it's 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 bearable. And uh, like, I, if I get in a different line of work and and I feel the need to carry every single day for whatever I'm out of the house, then uh, I, I'm sure I would get used to it. Uh, like I said, the line of work I do and what I do, uh, I, I, I got a better chance of having a shotgun with me because I'll probably run into a bear before I run into uh, somebody to actually try to rob me. Knock on wood. With that, with that said, somebody will probably try to freaking uh, carjack me <laughs> next week. But uh, hope you guys like the video. The Zef Technology did an awesome job with this gun. It doesn't make it shoot any better. Uh, it doesn't make it more practical. It just makes it cooler looking. That's pretty much all it does. Uh, make makes a good gun even better and nicer looking. Uh, so. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have fun. Keep shooting.